Jamie Morgan was a special little surprise. Jamie, what do you do with Jig's ball? Jamie was unexpected. I wasn't planning on having another child. My daughter was already 14, and I had a second chance at motherhood. Good. The family doted over their curly-haired happy boy. Then a routine drive with Jamie's aunt changed everything. They basically told us, you know, that he was in this car crash, and I just kept thinking, oh my gosh, I hope his face is okay. And that's a guilt that I live with because I didn't know that he was losing his life while I'm worried about his face. Alain and her husband raced to the hospital to be with their five-year-old son. I felt like he wasn't here. This was a boy, his body that was broken and on machines that were keeping him alive, but his spirit wasn't there. Jamie slipped away. Elaine slipped into a darkness no parent can prepare for. There was times when we were literally making animal noises. It was such a deep pain. Elaine's every thought was of Jamie. She stopped functioning and didn't leave the house. She began talking to other parents who lost children. Friends would sit while she wept and talked about Jamie. This brought her comfort. It's paramount that people in the midst of grief have connection. Trying to forge a connection with them with the smallest gesture can be exactly the right thing to do. Realistically, at least for the first three years, it was as if a dark cloud was over our entire soul, our household, and yet we found ways to continue. And it was a very slow healing process. It's not a thing we can schedule. It's not a thing we can expedite. It's a thing we have to be patient with. Even after more than 20 years. It will soften. It's not going to go away, but it does soften. Making these beautiful moments Jamie. a treasure. In the County News Center, I'm Anita Lightfoot.